guys, what's up? Ellie Shire Lady here, and today Togo Poker have asked me to show you their new game, Togo Blocks. So I've been playing it all week on my phone, and I'm going to show you my world. So let me first show you what the world starts out like when you load in. I'm going to create a new world, and as you can see, there's nothing here. Just these three little lonely people in a world of possibilities and emptiness. So you do actually get a couple of blocks to start off with. These ones down here, I'm just going to draw some in. They look pretty cool, you could build a house out of these if you wanted to. They all have different properties, for example when you click this multicolored one, it sparkles. So cute! But the real magic happens when you combine them, so if you just drag one, you can combine it with another one, and then I've got this pink slime block, and this one is actually bouncy, so if I make this guy walk up to it, he'll bounce off it! There are a ton of combinations you can make. I've actually been trying them out and I haven't even found every single combination yet. So let's combine the yellow with the pink and we get a brick. And now that we've made these, they will be available on the side here. So we can use them anytime. Let's combine these two. What does this make? Ooh, a nice stripey block. Put the yellow one in. What does that make? <gasps> oh, I like that color. And if you add this slimy one and you put that down here, You'll see that it takes the properties of the slimy block and this grass block then becomes bouncy. So I think the most important combination to make first of all is this multicolor block with a piece of grass because that makes water and then you can use water for a bunch of different things. I can make a little tree by combining in the water with the grass and there are actually a few pieces of furniture and items so I just made a cloud and that's I'm going to show you how I use these to decorate my world in a bit. I think I've been pretty creative. So I'm just making a mess right now, but I've just made a chair! So I can now use a chair whenever I want, and I can control these characters to walk around and interact with the world. Now there is a black block that I want to try and combine. Is it this? <gasps> there it is! This black block is the coolest, so I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to draw a line of black here. And I'm going to take this little guy and walk up to the black, and as you can see, he poofs through it like a teleportation. And he's now on the other side, so this is really handy for when you're building. So now that you know the basics, I'm going to show you my world. Just go home. All your worlds are saved here, so you can go back to them whenever you want. And oh man, this already looks pretty exciting, doesn't it? I've got a toilet and everything. So let's find one of the characters. You know what? Actually, this cat is my favorite because he moves around super fast. So I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see. I figured out how to make flowers. So I have a bunch of flowers around and clouds. So I'm going to go down underground through this teleportation block. As you can see, I am in the room of clouds and trumpets. This is kind of like my secret lair, where I keep all the weird things. And then this is another floor here. So as you can see, I've got some crazy things in here. I decided to combine a vine with a light bulb, which you can light up, and that looks really cute. And then we've got a little slime block, I'm just going to jump over that. Over to here, we have a diamond hanging on a vine. And there's actually a little bomb here, but I'm, I'm not going to click it, because it does explode. <laughs> you know what? I am going to click it, just to show you. Boop! Aw, my lab! My table of fish! It's gone. Oh well, now that the damage is done, let's get out of here. So I'm just going to teleport around, back up to the surface, where we shall explore. You pretty much can do whatever you want with this world, so what I decided to do was grow diamonds on little stems, and I think that looks super cute. There's another way into the secret lair, which is actually really cool. If you just stand on here for a few seconds, they break and then you fall onto that slime. I didn't want to make it so that you'd hurt your feet when you fell, so I put that slime block there. Let's go explore the rest. So here I've built a little tree house, and to get up to it, I'm using these slime blocks as like a ladder, so it makes you jump like that. And then if you want to go across the other side, you just jump like this, and there's a little alarm clock there, which I can use to wake myself up. Okay, let's go upstairs now. So there aren't ladders as far as I can tell, so I just use this little teleport block, and it puts me up there, where I can then use the toilet. Mmm, and the light bulb. So to make it look more like a treehouse, I put these little windows in. I think they look really cute. And then this is a chimney, which you can escape out of. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't know he was here. And there's another little treehouse here. You can't get in this one. 
So I put this water here, but I think I'm going to build a bridge over it soon because none of the characters can swim properly. <laughs> so it's kind of an inconvenience. But let's go head this way. Oh, this guy's here. Hello, dude. Let's just go this way first. What's over here? I've actually forgotten. Okay, we've got a fish floating over the water. This is a nice little bridge. Oh, this bridge is cute because when you jump on it, it has the sparkly effect. That's my favorite. And then I just put these floating islands up here. This is one of the first things I did when I made the world because I just love floating islands. Oh, if you go far enough this way, you'll actually find my little experimentation area where I was experimenting with all the blocks. So it is a huge mess. But this is actually really handy because once you've made the block, then you can just click it to select it and then use the pen tool to draw with it wherever you want. So if I'm looking for a new block, I usually just come over here and pick one that I like. And then I go over wherever I want and build with it. So I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build a little star in the sky out of this one. I think this is a cute color. Ta-da! Oh, it's a little fat star. That does not look like a star at all. Whoops. I'm just gonna delete that. So I'm gonna use this little eraser tool and it's so cute because look, it becomes this little flying, chompy eating thing. And then he disappears after all the destruction is done. Anywho, back to the tower. Let's go ahead and go up this tower with all the windows. And if you go to the left, you'll see these little slime islands, which are bouncy. This is just an easy way to get down from the tower. And then it lands in the water. Oh, that's why I had the water there. Yeah, I can't put a bridge over that. So this time we'll try going right on the tower. And this is actually one of my favorite things. Oh, I built a moon. Look how cute it is. And I use these diamonds to represent stars in the sky. And I think it just looks so cute. Also flying fish. That's a thing in space, apparently. It's your world. You can do what you want with it. So then I built this little castle here. And if I jump in here, the sparkly blocks will light up all the lights for a second. And around the time of building this, I discovered how to make cactuses in pots. So there are a lot of these around. Okay, I'm going to go into this door here, which actually takes me to another dimension, which I've also built. The rest of the dimension is just like solid blocks that are this color. It's pretty cool, but I hollowed out some areas to build in. So if we go this way and I just jump along these blocks, you'll be able to see little floating poos, which I also crafted. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm stuck, aren't I? Okay, oh dear, oh dear. Right, there we go. So the idea is to jump along the blocks and avoid the floating poos and all the poos on the ground there. And if you're successful, then you make it to the end without having any poo on your shoes. Oh, phew, we made it. And then to get up is another one of these little bouncy ladder blocks. And another one. And it takes you to this little hot air balloon, which is floating. I thought this was pretty cute. So if you go through a door in another dimension, it won't take you back to the same door you went into. It will take you to a different door that's in the same place in the other world. So I'm in space. I am in space. And I'm just going to jump down. And you can see, I've built my own name, but also Joel's name <laughs> in the sky. So I'm actually gonna add a few things to my world today. Oh, and we fell down into the water. So I'm gonna head over this way where I haven't built yet, over the secret lab entrance, through the field of dreams, over the bridge, which will break if we're not careful. Oh, you also built a little heart here. I forgot about that. You jump onto this tree to escape from the exit. And over here, I haven't built anything yet. I'm gonna use some more of the vines. Now I've tried them before with diamonds on and hanging light bulbs off of, but I thought it'd be cool if we used one to make it look like we were growing kettles. So I'm just gonna pop these on top of the vines. I think they look pretty funny and I really love the clouds. So I'm just gonna put some clouds around. So I'm gonna build a little house. So what block should we make it out of? I think I'm gonna combine that block with some water to make this little stripey block. And then I'm gonna add some more water actually. Hopefully that looks really cool. So I'm gonna use that block. Ooh. Oh dear, I am a terrible builder. 
Or am I? That looks pretty interesting, actually. <laughs> okay, let's fix this. Aha! That looks cute. And then I'm gonna give it a roof too. Oh, I know. I'm gonna combine one of these, oh God. I'm gonna combine one of these blocks with the rock block so that it looks kind of darker, like a roof would look. I like that. So we shall use this one to make a little roof on here. And then, oh, let's put some of these little fences out. These look cute. Let's see, let's get a chair in here and a table. On the table, we shall have an eggplant, or as we in England call it, an aubergine. Aha, uh -huh. there's no toilet in this house, so I guess you just had to go to the tree house to use the toilet. I'm not gonna put a bomb in, because I know that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna put one of them on a little island out here. Actually, that's a cute idea. I'm gonna make some little islands over here for some stuff to go on. There can be a cactus plant on one of them. I'm gonna put a bomb on one, but we're gonna be very careful not to use it. I'm gonna put a little poop on one of the islands. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, let's build a little tree as well, because I like trees. You can make them look really cute. So that kind of looks like a tree. Um, and then to make it look even more tree-like, I like to put some flowers on it. <gasps> I know, we can make a aubergine hang from the bottom of it so it looks like it's an aubergine tree. And then there we have it, our new little house. So if you wanna check out this game for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. If you do try it out, I would love to see screenshots of what you managed to build. I particularly like weird and wacky things. So have fun and I'll see you in the next video.